you can now create a 3D world just like this. Also, just like this. The only thing you need is to write a good prompt. Let me tell you one more secret. The thing that you are seeing backside, right? It is AI generated and you can do it for free if you follow this video till the end. So let's get started. Hey everyone, welcome back. I'm Tarun Jain. I run this uh, YouTube channel called AI with Tarun. In this particular video, we will go quite non-technical. If you look at my previous videos, I have done a few videos on how we can build chatbot using large language models. In this video, it's quite non-technical. We will not do the code. Rather, we will look into few AI tools which has done massive impact on the society or massive impact in the community. And one of my favorite is Kybox uh, that is being built by Blockade Labs. What it can do is with just a single prompt or with just your drawing, you can convert it into a 3D world, which is beyond amazing. So in this video, what we will do is first, we will look into a drawing that you will convert into an heart, which is a 3D world. And then you will use a prompt, just prompt. With prompt, you will convert that prompt into a 3D world. And at last, if you look at the first two steps, when you download your 3D world, it will be downloaded in a PNG image, which is an image. It's a, not a 3D world. In order to get a 3D world, you need a video. That's where we also have one particular code in HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. Using that, we will convert our blockade generated image into a complete 3D world, which is a video. It's a very exciting video. Uh, do stick till the end and let's have fun. AI tools are used or AI tools are made so that we can have fun and we can generate the revenue. And this video is going to be really very amazing. You just have to play around. But one thing that worries me a lot is that credit score. Usually when Skybox started, right, it had free trials and all those things. Even now it is free, but it has a limited access. And they have also added kind of, uh, what do you call, watermarks on their images, but that is fine. Before it was 15 images, now they have made it as 5 images, but that is completely fine. Let's start with this particular video. The first thing is we will draw and we will convert our drawing into a 3D world. And this brings back a day when I was a child, like when we used to be kids and we just had to draw a few things in our drawing classes. All this drawing were just on paper. Now what we will do is that drawing we will convert into a 3D world. So let's get started. First thing is you need to open skybox.blockedlabs.com. You need to create new and it will give you a pop-up button. I'll just tell, don't show this message again. Get started. All right. So by default, it will give you a 3D world. And this is, if you scroll, right, you just have to scroll. You can see the complete overview, complete overview. This is good. This is good, but we want to create our own. We want to create our own world. So in order to get started, the only thing is you need to click on your brush. Once you click on the brush, you will get a 3D world and you can use this and symbol to move your uh, world. I mean, to move your uh, diagram box. So as you can see, it's a complete black box. It's a complete black box. You can draw whatever you need. So I'll just draw what I used to do in my uh, school days. I'll take my brush. I will create a building. I mean, not a building, but rather a house. And this is very straightforward. This is the only drawing I know. Uh, I am not an artist, but I make the AI. I, I fake to be an AI uh, artist just by using tools. And I have a few mountains. I have a few mountains. Uh, how do I scroll? Click on this hand symbol. You just have to scroll. Again, use the brush button. Create mountains. And I need one more house. So I'll just come here. And I'll create a uh, one more house. So if you are an artist, draw whatever you need. Whatever imagination you have. My imagination is very limited when it comes to art. Only thing that I can think of is mountain, house, sea. That's it. Nothing else. Um, now I've just add two house. Now what I need to do is, okay, I drew something extra so I can use the brush and I can remove it. I did it intentionally so that I can show you the cursor. So now I've made some random diagrams. 
uh, of my imagination. Now what I need to do is, I need to convert my drawing into art. That's where you need to give a prompt. Now, how do I write a prompt? If you want to write a prompt, you need not to be a prompt expert. Like you can't be a prompt expert until you're a domain expert. Whenever we speak about prompt engineering, you need to be a domain expert to understand what kind of prompt we need to write. When it comes to art, there are particular artistic keywords that we need to use like palette and all those things, which I don't understand. How do I get started? How do I copy prompt? This is where whenever you want to do something related to art, you have a website called lexica.art. Here you will find few uh, ready-made images. For each images, you have a prompt. So whichever image you like, right? You just go to that image. Uh, now what image do I like? I like this particular image. So what I'll do is I'll click on that image. I'll copy the prompt. I'll copy this prompt. So as you can see, it is saying San Francisco, downtown, sunset flat, design poster, uh, minimalist, modern 4K, epic composition. You just copy this. Come back to your screen. Dream up your world. Now just dream how you need your drawing to be in the real world. Just copy your text. And very important is whenever we need to write a prompt, you also need to write negative prompt. Now what is negative prompt? It's a prompt that keyword, whatever keywords you write, it needs to be avoided. And in most of the cases, I need to avoid art. I'll just write art and I don't need anime because when I create a 3D world, which needs to be realistic, I don't need anime. And you also need to avoid painting. I need to avoid text in my image. I need to avoid blurriness and what else? That's it. So if in case you want something related to art, you can remove it. Uh, to be specific, it is digital art. I don't need a digital art. I need realistic. Now, how do I pick this realistic? Blockhead Lab is again amazing. It has given you selective styles. Uh, in my case, I need realistic. So I'll pick realistic and I'll generate. It's gonna take a few seconds to generate your drawing along with prompt in a 3D world. Let's see what kind of imagination world Skybox creates. So we'll give a few seconds. We'll just wait. Let's see. But it's pretty fast. Uh, in order to convert a drawing to an image, usually it should take around one minute, two minutes. But Blockhead Labs, it's really very crazy. It's really very speed. I'm only able to think how good it is when it comes to computation. It needs to be great when it comes to computation. Uh, so let's see how our world is being created. Great. So you can scroll your screen down so that you can see those green lines. As you can see, it has created a few green lines, but it has mistaken my green lines into uh, trees, white trees. Because if you look at my prompt, it says San Francisco and it has gone to flat design. So when it comes to flat design, you don't have any mountains. So it has treated those uh, curvy marks into trees. So whenever you draw anything, you should also mention that. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't mention it, but it has come to flat. That's fine. So as you can see, I have my drawing here. If I scroll this down, I can see those green lines. Uh, where are those green lines? Come back. Yeah, I can see those green lines now. Great. So it has created buildings. So again, I can change this. Again, I can change this. As you can see, there are two home over here. This is one home. This is one home. And instead of those mountains, it has generated the tree. So what I'll do is I'll just remove this. I'll just write sci-fi and sci-fi mountains peaceful nature. 8K HD realistic photography. Yeah, I can only think till this particular keywords. Again, I'm a, uh, what do you call, a copy artist. I'll come back to Lexica. I'll just copy this one. This looks cool. What I'll do? Okay. Um, 
a starry night sky. No, it doesn't look that great. Let's look into different brown. Let's see. Oh my goodness, this looks big, but I don't need it. Yeah, this looks good. Let me see. Okay. I'll just copy this last three lines. This looks good. Let me copy this last three lines. Give me a second. Let me copy this. Come back to my screen and paste it here. And now I want to generate my image again. So let's see what it will generate this time. Cool. Now it has given mountains, but yet it is considering my drawing to be tree. How do you verify that? You just scroll your screen a bit down and you can view it. If I scroll this screen a bit down, can you see? You can see those green lines. Sometimes it is not visible. You just have to scroll a bit down so that you can see those green lines. It has considered those green lines to be trees and those two houses to be, uh, it has generated a house, but it doesn't look like a house, but I don't know uh, in the planet, how does it looks? But this is very cool. This is cool. Now, based on your imagination and by copy pasting your prompt, you can make this even more better. Great. So now we have completed the first step on creating the image. So instead of drawing, right, you can directly come to Blockhead Labs and you can write the prompt instead of writing, uh, instead of drawing. So what we'll do is we'll come back to our Blockhead Labs. Oh, I just have to open it again. That's fine. Skybox.ai. Click on the first link. And this time we'll just write the prompt. We will not draw anything uh, because I have only two credits left. So just let me write a prompt now. So again, let's come back here. This time, since I'm an anime fan, I will probably uh, copy something which is related to anime, which is Studio Ghibli. Uh, just give me a second. I'll remove this. Yeah. Let's copy another prompt. Let's see which suits better. This looks good. Yeah, I'll copy this entire thing. But I don't need this red uh, head woman. Uh, you saw that you can edit it. And it's very simple to edit. So let's come back to our prompt. Let's come back to our skybox. And here you just have to paste your prompt. So whatever prompt you write, you just have to edit it. Now, if you can see in this particular thing, I don't need this keyword, which is red dead woman. I'll remove it. Also, I don't need this. Instead, what I'll do is I'll write 8K prompt uh, photo portrait of uh, what can we write? Uh, we can write space, spacecraft, 8K photo portrait of spacecraft at a bustling crosswalk in Shibuya, Shibuya at night, highly detailed, vibrant uh, production, cinematic reflection on wet street, 8K film grain. One more thing is, this is my favorite, HDR. This should be good. And again, I always had negative prompt. I need to avoid digital art, digital art and I need to avoid anime and painting. So if you look at this particular prompt, I don't have any drawing. I'm directly giving the prompt. This prompt as well, I have copy pasted from Lexica because I need those keywords. Okay, if you can give those keywords, it is well and good. Again, this time let's try something different. I need something related to fantasy. Okay, fantasy is giving me painting, which I don't need. So let's come back. Art techniques. No, this doesn't look good. Anime should be good, but I don't need it in this particular case. Uh, render, not good. Uh, we'll go with realistic for timing. We'll just go with realistic. Because I love the 3D world that is realistic in nature. And yeah, you can experiment with prompt. You can also experiment with your drawing. If in case you're very good with art, that's one option that you have. Just do whatever you want. And the only thing, the end result is to write a prompt, download the image, re uh, convert that image into a video so that you can replace your background. So let's see what it has generated. I just hope it has given me better result. Okay. Well, now where is my spacecraft? 
All right. It has missed the keyword of spacecraft, but good. This looks like a Shibuya. Quite busy street. Great. So it has given me a highly detailed. So highly detailed. You, if you can see in my prompt, I've not added text. So it has given me text in most of the places. So this is good. Now what we need to do is I need to download this image. I'll just download it. You can download this image to be in PNG. Once you download this image, I'll just show you how this image looks. It is not of what we think of. If you look at the 3D world that we have created, it has the complete world. But when you convert this into an image, the three, uh, 360 degree circular is cut off. So as of now, if you look at my diagram, like I just paid for this particular uh, downloaded to complete. So let's just wait. Now, once downloaded, this is how our image looks like, but this is not what we need. If you come back to our drawing, right? If you come back to our uh, 3D image, we need this 3D degree, which is your uh, background. We need this kind of background. We need this 360 degree of motion but it's kind of missing in this image. It's just a normal flat image. Now, how do I convert this image into a 3D world? That's where we have this particular code, which is being uh, uploaded by 360 image viewer by AI tool Serena. So now what happens is we use Skybox, we generate a 3D world, which is 3D 360 degree rotator. But when you download your image, it is a very flat PNG image. You can't rotate that. This is where we have this code, which is been shared by AI tools arena, and it's a normal HTML, CSS and JavaScript code. So let's quickly run this and you will find this particular code in my GitHub repository. You can find that link in the description. So let's get back to the uh, terminal. So now what I'll do is this is already saved. I will run this particular code on my Google Chrome. I need to run my index. I need to run my index.html. Sorry for that. I need to run my index.html on a Google Chrome. So let's just wait. I'll remove all this extra thing. So as you can see, you're able to open your uh, AI arena where you can view your 360 degree image. So you just have to upload the image. And this is my image. I've just selected. So there you have it. Uh, just by using this particular HTML and CSS code, you are able to download your 3D 360 degree image from Skybox. But this particular image is completely flat. You can't rotate it. That's where you have this yeah, 360 degree image viewer where you just have to upload the image you have downloaded from Skybox and increase the speed, decrease the speed. You can just make this full screen. You can record this and then you can replace your background. This is what I did in my uh, introductory section. And it's pretty cool. And one thing if you notice, one very good thing if you notice, we had bookmark or watermark. When you download an image from Skybox, you have a mod watermark in this particular 360 degree viewer. You can't see the watermark and that's what we need. Just write a prompt, write a prompt, convert that into image, use this image, upload it in a 360 degree image viewer. And there you go. You have your complete 3d world. Now this is cool. And we will have more such, uh, videos on different AI tools. And it's like, most of the time people just talk about AI tools, but they don't know how to use it. And this is where I come in. I'll just look into few stable diffusion and I'll run those, I'll run those entire application live so that everyone can use it and not just using AI tools. I also share videos on technical aspect where we can actually implement large language models. We're using transformers architecture or via code. We have done Langchain and Llama index series. And we will have a few more videos coming very soon. So stay updated, subscribe. See you soon. Thank you so much.